Welcome to a tutorial here for Affinia H Plus One 3D printers where we're going to be showing how to change or load your filament, uh, change nozzles, ex changing extruders, uh, and the HEPA carbon filters as well. Let's jump over to our to our system. Our system we've uh, set up already. It's uh, initialized and uh, and we've got it calibrated, uh, platform uh, leveled, and so now our next step is, is to go ahead and load it up with filament. So we've got uh, a spool of filament here. This one is uh, PLA filament, and we're going to go ahead and open our door here in our filament uh, bay and take the uh, carefully don't let this unwind on you but you keep control of the end of the filament and we're going to come off of the bottom of the of the spool not from the top but from the bottom because it's going to pull up and roll that way and there's a hole on the bottom here that we feed the filament up through so get it started and start to ease it through. You're going to push through probably about up to two feet of filament and then place our filament roll here. And Let's see if we've got enough out and here's the end of our filament tube. We've got the extra filament uh, sitting out so we're good there. A um, couple of comments here in regards to the spool. If you have a very full spool of filament, you may have uh, the filament start to overwrap off of the spool, and I'm show you what that does. So if it does something like this, and you put it onto the the spindle, it's going to start to constrict just around the spindle and and stop. So. Uh, you want to make sure is that your wraps are on the spool itself like so hold hold the filament there on the spool put it onto the spool holder making sure that everything is in place if you find that it stops printing or printing air then you want to come take a look and see if that uh, overwrap uh, situation has happened. So we can go ahead and close our door. And we hit, we do have three extruders here. Um, the extruder that's, uh, that's installed when it comes with the system is the ABS extruder or the high temperature extruder. This is a kind of a universal extruder um, and uh, it will print with uh, uh, ABS and, and polycarbonates, which are the higher temp uh, temperature uh, filaments. It'll also print with PLA, um, and it will also print with uh, 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 TPU and PETG and, and other filaments. But we do have specific uh, filaments for those, or extruders for those filaments as well. This is our TPU extruder, and this is our PLA extruder. Um, the, P, the TPU extruder has a specific 0.5 millimeter uh, at, uh, nozzle aperture here uh, for printing the flexible filament. That's what TPU is, is flexible filament. The PLA uh, has a beefier fan on it, blows more air uh, to cool the PLA a little faster uh, so that it doesn't have a chance to really ooze. So. Um, so coming back here, we're going to go to our material section, and the first thing we'll do is we'll take a look through here is uh, the material type, and right now we are set up a PLA, but if we just hit the button, it'll scroll through the filament types that I have loaded into this system. So I'm gonna. So right now I'm back on PLA, 
and I'm going to go ahead and click extrude. Now the temperatures are listed up here. Uh, so we see it's 36 degrees uh, Celsius right now for the nozzle climbing and 34 degrees Celsius for the platform. Uh, this shows that we're connected uh, via Wi-Fi um, and that I've got PLA showing 500 grams of filament on the spool. So as this increases uh, in temperature, uh, we will start to load the filament, but we'll get prepped for that right now. So we're going to go ahead, take that end of the filament, set it down through into the hole, bottom it out, and, uh, and that's right up against the extruder gear. So once the extruder gear starts rolling, it'll start pulling in. And uh, uh, one other thing too is the diameter here. This diameter shows uh, 0 0.4. This is the default diameter uh, on our uh, extruders, except for the TPU. The TPU is a 0.5 millimeter. So I've just kind of given it a little bit of a, 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 just a gentle push, just to make sure that it's going, and I could feel that it's actually tugging the filament. And as we see, it's starting to come through, clearing out whatever the other filament was in the system prior to, to this. And we're gonna just, it'll just take a couple of seconds here, a few seconds for it to go through its routine. Once you hear that second beep, then you can just give a little tug and discard the filament. And so our filament's loaded. So this is where we would go ahead and set how much filament is on this spool. And because the system is going to go ahead and decrement uh, there as we print so that when we get down towards the end of the roll, the software will know if we have enough filament to even start the job and it'll give us a warning uh, before even starting a job. Uh, the diameter here, we have choices all the way up to 0.8. It's got 0.2 and 0.4. Really important that you make sure that this value matches the value that you have uh, the, the actual size of the nozzle that you have and also in the software. So uh, so that's how we, we load our filament. So the next thing that we are going to do um, is go ahead and change out a nozzle. So to do that um, we're going to do a withdraw because it's going to do two things for us here. It's going to remove the filament uh, from the uh, nozzle uh, to allow us to uh, remove it, um, but it's also going to heat up our nozzle to make it easier to actually remove from the threads. So we're going to wait uh, until the filament's extrude or withdrawn, and then we'll immediately go to using our wrench that came in the system to remove the nozzle. Uh, you need to do this while it's hot. Uh, it's got to be at least 200 degrees Celsius to be able to remove it. Um, if you, What you'll find is that also it should be pretty easy to remove, but if it, uh, if it has any tension there whatsoever, you may need to use a pliers and grip the, uh, the heater block that the nozzle is attached to, just stabilize it. And, uh, and then remove the nozzle. So here, we take this end of the wrench, get it onto our nozzle, and turning it counterclockwise, loosening it. Doesn't take much pressure at all. And then use the long just to remove. And as we can see, this nozzle's got quite a bit of gook on it. And uh, this is after probably 
you know, six months of use or whatever. Um, if it's clogged, it, uh, it won't um, allow any filament to come through. That's when you need to change your nozzle. Okay, so here is a clean nozzle. And on the nozzle itself, you will see, hopefully, it has the value on there. It says this is a 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So you can try to use your fingers, but if but if you're worried about doing that because of the heat and everything, you can try to use the this, but I'm not sure that it's going to, yeah, it's too deep. It's not going to allow me to get all the way up into there to get it started, so be careful. Just hold the nozzle itself and just quickly get it started onto the threads. Once it's started, then you can go ahead and let go and then turn it up. And here, just give it a little bit of a turn, not too much, just enough to get it snugged up in there. And that's how we replace the nozzle. So we've replaced the nozzle. Uh, and now our next step is is to actually replace the extruder. So replacing the extruder, it's our same process uh, that we've used where we withdraw the filament, clear out the uh, the extruder itself. Uh, now uh, we can use uh, one of the Allen wrenches that comes in our kit inside of the uh, H plus one, and there's a screw right here. So this screw needs to be removed. Don't lose this screw. And set this off on the side for now. And then up on our top side, there's a cover here. Just going to simply lift the cover off. Detach this cable and the extruder comes out. There's magnets, a magnet pad there and a magnet pad there that will help you uh, center it onto, this, onto the uh, system. So I'm going to bring our PLA specific extruder and go ahead and drop it in. So it's seated. And go ahead and replace our screw. You may need to wiggle the extruder around a little bit just to get the hole started or the screw started. Tighten the screw up. Come back up on the top. Replace our ribbon cable. And replace our cover. And then at this point you would go ahead and go to material, change your material type, and extrude uh, and replace your filament into the new extruder. Here you're going to take a snipper on this This is the snipper that comes in the package as part of the accessories. And I'm trying to do this one-handed. But you just want to 
cut a flush fresh cut uh, onto the filament and use that for inserting into the filament hole. So that's how we change the uh, extruders. Now also we have filters uh, in our system. This is a self-contained uh, printer, um, totally enclosed and um, we have a dual filtration system here that has a carbon filter and a HEPA filter built inside. Um, recommended uh, changing of these filters is uh, um, once uh, every 300 hours uh, or three months, um, whichever comes first. I would probably really state as more as about the 300 hours mark. Um, your to change yours, you're probably going to be having these types of uh, knurled nut, uh, knurled screws to uh, remove by your fingers. My demo unit here is pretty original, and uh, so mine's just got screws. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out these screws. And then there's the end cover that we remove. The top side here is our HEPA filter. And on the side here, it's going to show you where the airflow is, or there it goes. So you, the air is going to come through here, get pulled through this side of our HEPA filter. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that back into place. And then our activated carbon is here, and the airflow arrows on this are going to show that we're going to be pulling the air through here, comes down and pushes out through our carbon filter here. So we just slide that into this area. Once those are slid in, then we can take our cover and and then we'll just replace the screws. That, uh, I believe, covers everything we were going to be talking about. So we've changed our filament, changed our filament type, put in uh, values uh, uh, for how much filament we've got. Um, we've changed our extruders. We've talked about the PLA, um, ABS, and uh, TPU extruders. We've changed nozzles. We've changed our filters. Um, so these are all maintenance uh, items uh, for our 3D printer. Uh, if you have other questions for, the, for Affinia, please contact our support department at the contact information listed below. Otherwise, uh, really thank you for your attention again, and uh, uh, good luck 3D printing.